Well, in our book, Age of Context, and I'm Robert Scoble, and I go around the world and study startups and innovators, and we, we uh, wrote about how mobiles and sensors and wearable computers, like these uh, Oakley ski goggles yeah. that have a little computer in them that show you uh, how fast you're skiing and where you're skiing, but how they uh, are going to change our lives and our world through... Uh, software that can uh, really know where you are, who you're with, what you're doing, and uh, what you're likely to do next. So right now it knows I haven't had lunch, and it, Google now can tell me, hey, you haven't had lunch yet, would you like a sushi? There's a great sushi place right around the street, right around the corner, right? Something like that. Um, and there's going to be a whole new range of software that just was not po possible when we had laptops and desktop computers. Thanks to our mobile phones, we're seeing new kinds of uh, software called contextual software coming out. The, the news of the day is about to end, uh, G20. Yeah. Uh, what is your idea? What uh, what is happening? Because some there was a spine story about technology and oh, yeah. key also key for computer USB. Yeah. Well, there's uh, you've you've seen all the NSA stuff break out because of Edward Snowden and uh, bringing out what just what they're they're able to do and they're able to look at a lot of data and now there is coming out that they're even uh, you know spying on our friends and the other governments right so it's it's pretty detestable I, I think I, the more I learn about it the more outraged I get about what our governments are doing but on the other hand we had 9-11 and we had bombings in Boston and they use technology to figure out what's going on how did this attack happen how do you stop it from happening again? How do you catch those uh, responsible? And we all like that too. So these two conflicts, the you know, my Google Glass is over there. I'm usually wearing a Google Glass that's watching my eyes and has a camera, yeah. right? This is gonna open up new kinds of data flows that are possible to be studied. And what is, who's gonna get access to that data? Where, where is it gonna go? I'm soon gonna have a patch on me that's gonna study if I have cancer. Does my doctor get to see that? Does my wife get to see that? Does my insurance company get to see that? Does my employer get to see it? I don't know. This uh, unexplored territory, and it, it's really interesting to see this new story about where, just how deeply surveilled we are, and where does all that data go? That's gonna be an interesting topic for the next decade, I think. Yeah, how can we protect ourselves? Uh, you can't. <laughs>